Are you squatting wrong? Because I definitely was in this cringeworthy squat tutorial from six years ago. Okay, now don't get me wrong. It's not that the whole video is cringeworthy. It's just like one or two parts of it. So I wanted to kind of show you what I didn't know back then and which I know better now so that I can give you the proper advice based on the views and comments that this video got and the fact that it's our 23rd most viewed video on our channel. It seems like it's a popular topic, maybe something you guys are searching for on how to squat properly. So um, let's go over the whole thing. A lot of the advice in this video is still good and still valid. I still agree with it, but there's just a few things that I would like to update. And there's a lot of mistakes that could be made on this exercise. And I proceed to make some of them myself. First thing I see a lot of people do wrong is the wrong knee and foot position when you're beginning to do your squat. Putting your feet in the right position is the best way to get started. So you don't want your feet to be too much turned out. You definitely don't want them too much turned in. And then with your knees, definitely not going over the toes. You gotta keep your heels on the ground and the knees should be tracking right over your shoelaces, right about there. Okay, so make sure that you've got your foot and your knee position set. That way your knees aren't gonna buckle inwards. They're not gonna buckle outwards. Also, another important point here and something I didn't talk about in this video was that if your knees hurt when you do squats, which is really, really common for a lot of people, it's not necessarily a problem with squats themselves because it is possible to do squats with zero knee pain and a lot of people are doing that. My knees don't hurt at all when I'm squatting and that is thanks to years of practicing the correct form. I still 100% agree that having good form when you exercise is essential to getting good results, but form is always gonna be a work in progress, just like everything in fitness. So even if your form isn't perfect right now, you don't have to stress about that. And it's not that you're doing it wrong, you're just always doing the best that you can at the time. So keep watching and you'll see what I mean. Okay, the second mistake is forgetting to use variety with your squats. There are so many types of squats. I'm just gonna show you five of my favorite types of squats. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite varieties, which is the barbell back squat. And if you're not comfortable using the bar, which already weighs 45 pounds, when practicing these, you can use a broomstick or any kind of wooden dowel, something that is light but stiff, so you can get used to having a bar across your back. And then once you get good at the motion, then you can start adding little bits of weight. So I also wanna add in here that if you have knee pain during squats, which is very, very common for a lot of people, it's usually more of like an alignment issue or a form issue or maybe even just that your knees aren't quite strong enough to handle like weighted squats. So sometimes it's a matter of seeking professional help if you actually have like a real injury. And other times it's just a matter of more practice, learning proper form and practicing proper form. And then over time your knees become stronger and you're able to do them without pain. You can absolutely learn how to squat without pain. Having some fresh eyeballs on your form can help. So get at least one session with an in-person trainer, have them look at your squat, analyze your form, and just offer you a few tips and pointers that you wouldn't have thought of yourself. Um, you can also just practice on your own, using a mirror, being really meticulous about your form, and experimenting with it until you can get a squat motion in with no knee pain at all. But I just don't want you to assume that all squats equal knee pain, because that's not the truth. Shift your weight back, leave it more, 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 back, back, back. Yeah, good, keep it like that and keep going. Yeah. Yeah, better belly strength, that was good. Can you sit a little bit lower? One of my favorite ways to learn to squat correctly and to teach other people to do it is to do the wall facing squat. So walking up to the wall, toes about four inches from the baseboard and hands overhead. When you squat down, it'll force you not to lean forward and focus on lowering your hips down to knee level or below knee level without the ducktail. Learning proper squat form is actually very, very hard and it takes a lot of repetition. So try this out and if it doesn't feel comfortable right away, don't give up, just keep practicing. 
Okay, here's where the video gets kind of cringeworthy and like, ooh, I have a hard time watching this part. And I don't even know where did I even learn to do front squats this way. My hand position is incorrect. Um, and just several things about this, like my, my booty is ducktailing at the bottom, which in the video I'm telling you not to do. And my like torso alignment is not right. So don't do what I do in this part. Now for front squats, see I'm taking a different grip here, getting underneath the bar with my palms facing in. What the heck? Sitting down into that 90 degree or lower position without doing the ducktail and then standing at the top and squeezing the legs. Here it is from the side view. Notice ducktailing at the bottom, which in the video I'm telling you not to do. That I keep the elbows out in front and in line with the knees. Like why did I even say that? Because my elbows were nowhere near where they need to be. If you pull your elbows too far back, it's gonna cause the bar to fall forward, which is gonna throw out your form. So keep those elbows out. Okay, and here's some video clips I took today at the gym just a few hours ago. So you can see my improvement. I still don't feel like I'm the world's best front squatter. This is a challenging exercise for me, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of my least favorite variations of squats because it's really hard doing the version of front squats that I practice today. You can see my form is a lot better than it used to be. I still really, really struggle with this exercise. It feels uncomfortable. It's not my favorite squat variation, but you know, even exercises that aren't your favorite, you should be learning how to do them correctly. And if you're not sure if your form is correct or not, maybe do a little bit more research, especially before you film a video on YouTube telling people how to do it. Now here is the kettlebell goblet squat. You can also use a dumbbell for this, but it's different because you're holding the weight right in front of your chest with two hands and you can have your feet wide and do a sumo version or narrow. Different foot positions will make your muscles work in different ways. And what I like about this one is it really engages your abs. Make sure that you're not bending too much forward as you're doing these. You still wanna keep your head and chest upright and your shoulders back in position with that straight spine the entire time. And finally, the bodyweight squat. This is always a good go-to version whenever you're in a place where you don't have equipment, you're in a hotel room, at the park, anywhere. It's great to always practice your bodyweight squats. And yes, these are still challenging. Mistake number three has to do with your lower back. And this is what I call the ducktail because it sort of dips under as you're going too low in your squat. So watch what's happening to my lower back here. See how it's sort of rounded? Also, the chest is coming forward. That's what we call a ducktail at the bottom of the squat. So everything is going big here, and then all of a sudden, whoop, and it drops underneath. That's what you want to try to avoid. So just go low enough to where right before the ducktail happens, that should be the depth of your squat and not Okay, mistake number four is that you're using the wrong weight. Either you're using no weight at all and you just keep doing body weight squats, which is gonna get you better to a certain point, but it won't help you get over your plateaus. So make sure you're using some weight, but of course you don't want the weight too heavy to where it messes up your perfect form. So it should be a weight that challenges you, but that you can also control. Mistake number five is people don't go low enough in their squats. Earlier I showed you the ducktail and how not to go too low, but you also have to make sure you don't go too shallow because staying up here is not going to give you enough of a stretch in your glutes to make any difference in your shape. So make sure that you get to that 90 degree point, go as low as you can without dropping in the bucket, okay? So make sure you're going all the way to full squats. So remember the key getting your perfect squat is going low enough but not too low using the right foot and knee positions and making sure you're using a weight that's challenging you and using all the variety that there is with squats. This is Jessica Ramba from Live Lean TV for Women. Thanks for watching! Okay, in conclusion, always be kind to your former self. Always realize that even looking back at times when you were younger and you thought you were doing things right, um, that there's always room for improvement for everybody. And I even know that making this video now 
like six years fast forward from now, I'm probably going to be making another video. But anyway, I just want you to know not to be afraid to start and not to be afraid of admitting that there are things that you need to improve upon. I mean, a, a fitness journey is, a, is called a journey for a reason and it's not a straight line. There are going to be ups and there are going to be downs. You're going to make mistakes along the way. But you know, you will get results as long as you are committed to the process and you just do the best you can in any given workout. So that's it. I hope this was encouraging to you and if nothing else, it just um, corrects my bad advice from before. So the, all the other stuff I said about squats, I still agree with and I do hope that you will enjoy squats and work on your form because they are one of the very best exercises for your overall fitness and your metabolism. So evolving and learning and improving is just all part of the fitness journey. Say hi. <laughs> so I hope that you will go forward and take the necessary steps to improve. Okay, I gotta go, but if you're motivated and you're ready to get started, a great way to do so is by following a program. I swear to you, it's gonna be a game changer rather than just going to the gym and not knowing what to work on, you're gonna have a list of steps to take. So you can head to our website, liveleantv.com, pick out your first program and get your fitness journey started because you can't get better unless you start. So leave me a comment in the section below, video a thumbs up and share it if you like. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you next time. Bye and keep living lean.